Rieca, in Italian Fiume, has about 180,000 inhabitants, is the third largest city in Croatia by population after Zagreb and Split. In Italy, the occupation of the city which took place on September 1919 remains famous. An irregular voluntary force led by Gabriel D'Annunzio occupied the city, asking for its annexation to Italy. Annexation, however, always refused by the Italian government. Rijeka is reflected in its Corso, the place where people go shopping. The civic tower is one of the symbols of Rijeka. Originally it was nothing more than a typical circular passage tower through which the fortified city was accessed. Today it also dominates the central part of the Corso. The Cathedral of San Vito was a small Romanesque church in the Middle Ages. With the arrival of the Jesuits in Rijeka, work began on the construction of the cathedral as we know it today. The construction lasted for almost a hundred years, until 1727. On the hill stands the castle of Terz Addo from where you can enjoy a splendid panorama of the city and the coast. Baker, in Italian Bacari, is a deep fjord along the Adriatic coast, a few kilometers south of Rijeka. It is famous for the Bacari mockery, a military incursion carried out against the Austro-Hungarian navy present in the bay. It was brought to the end by a flotilla of the Royal Italian Navy on Moss in February 1918, in which Gabriel D'Annunzio participated. Despite the almost nil material consequences, this action had the effect of raising the morale of Italy, put to the test by the breakthrough of Caporetto. Today Baker is an industrial port, and the area is not suitable for tourism, even if the bay is very picturesque. The island of Kirk can be reached by car through two spectacular road bridges which first reach an intermediate islet from the coast, and from here the island of Kirk. Despite the position so north of the other islands, it enjoys an extremely happy climate, with an average annual temperature of 4 degrees higher than in the surrounding area on the mainland. At the same time it maintains the characteristics of an Adriatic island, jagged coasts full of bays and coves, countless islets, rocky, pebbly and sandy beaches, luxuriant vegetation with pine forests and oak stains that descend to the sea and excellent cuisine based on fish fresh. The island is a succession of countries facing the sea that are very different from each other, but all with charm and which deserve a visit. The ideal is, in fact, to move every day to a new place, a village, a beach, a restaurant, taking advantage of the minimum traffic and the all-good road. There is also a pedestrian and cycle path that combines all the paths on the island in a single network. The city of Kirk is the capital of the island and its administrative center. The historic center of the city has a unique charm given by the numerous buildings, the stone streets and the small colored shops that overlook it. 
The coastal promenade is the meeting and socializing point of the numerous visitors who choose the city as a destination for their beach holidays. The development of Kirk tourism is based on the trinomial, climate, sun, and sea. The beautiful beaches of the island offer a myriad of leisure opportunities for all ages. Verbenik is a village on the island with narrow streets. In the Verbenik plain, over 100 hectares of surface are planted with vineyards, where the Zlatina grape is produced, which gives a famous white wine, a sparkling wine and some excellent quality spirits. Basca is a wonderful natural paradise, it is the point where the main island road ends, which for about 40 kilometers, zigzags through the island. A place become a must for every visitor. The mountainous area behind Basca slopes down to the sea, forming rocky bays and coves, where the clarity of the water has no comparison with any other beach visited. The photos make an idea of this place better than any description. Sini is a city located on the Merlaka Canal, at the foot of the Dinaric Alps, and facing the island of Kirk. Behind Sini, there is a depression in the Alps called the Door Step. In winter, the Bora is channeled into this gorge, and sweeps the city. The only monument of tourist interest in Sini is the Cathedral of the Assumption of the Virgin, dating back to 1169. Note the splendid parking area for campers, located right on the seashore.
The island of Pag is located a few hundred meters from the coast, and is connected to the mainland by a bridge that leads to the city of Zadar. Located in front of the coast of northwestern Dalmatia, it extends for about 60 kilometers and has a very articulated coast, full of bays and with a hilly hinterland, incredibly bare and arid. Singular and impressive is the contrast that characterizes the territory of the island, almost completely barren and lunar towards the mainland, the side on which the wind blows, and green and luxuriant Mediterranean vegetation on the opposite side, protected from the winds. The eastern shore of the island is high, formed of bare rock, almost completely devoid of vegetation. Tufts of salted grass grow between stone and stone, forming the pastures frequented by the pag sheep, from whose milk an exquisite and very tasty DOP cheese is produced. The sheep are not noticed during the day because they shelter from the sun close to the walls and under the few shrubs. The island is practically devoid of surface waters, there are two lakes Malo Blato and Velo Blato which however disappear in the summer. The city of Pag is the capital of the island. The bay overlooked by the small port hosts one of the largest beaches on the island, while other smaller beaches overlook the coast and can be reached via paths or stairways. The Katina Bridge was built in 2010 and replaced the pre-existing bridge built in the 15th century, it is 30 meters long and covered with white stone and is an exclusively pedestrian bridge, which connects the old town with the old warehouses for salt storage. The salt warehouses are located right in the city center and testify to the importance of salt for this population. The seabed of the bay is rich in treasures and nearby there are submerged wrecks, sea cliffs rich in flora and fauna and ancient submerged cities. The road continues past the island's hilly chain at the Great Ak Pass, which is one of the most spectacular viewpoints on the island of Pag. The campsite where we stopped was located a few kilometers from Pag in this beautiful bay. Novalaya is located 23 kilometers north of the city of Pag, and is a very lively and popular tourist center with numerous restaurants, bars, and ice cream parlors and a promenade that comes alive with stalls and music in the evening. Its numerous discos have meant that Novalaya is known today, as the main entertainment center in Croatia, which annually attracts thousands of young people from all over Europe.
The old Croatian city of Nin has an ancient history and is located on an island in a lagoon. Surrounded by long sandy beaches, it is located only 14 kilometers from Zadar. The urbanized life of this city has lasted for over 3,000 years. It was inhabited by Liburnians, Romans, and Croats chose it as their first capital. The destruction of Nin by the Turks in the 1700s and 1800s changed the structure of the famous city, and the rich cultural heritage is now found in museums. Today the town is an attractive destination for its cultural heritage and sandy beaches. It boasts the smallest cathedral in the world, from the 9th century, and the remains of the largest Roman temple on the eastern Adriatic coast, dating back to the 1st century. Located in the middle of the Adriatic coast, Zadar is one of the oldest Croatian cities, boasting a history of about 3,000 years, where you can find countless monuments of historical and cultural interest. This city, object of destruction, looting and devastation over the centuries, has always managed to rise from its ruins, thus becoming richer, stronger, and more fascinating. Today the city of Zadar is a monument city, a destination for thousands of tourists. The city is protected from the sea by the myriad of islands that make up the Kornadi archipelago, which are located in the stretch of sea from Zadar to Sibenik. The Kornadi islands are 152 in total, but only 89 of them form the national park. On the islands there are scenic spots and natural lookouts that are easily accessible, thanks to the paths traced by the shepherds to look after the flocks raised on the islands. It must be remembered that the lands that make up the Kornady Park are private property. Today the Church of San Donato represents the emblem of the city of Zadar dating back to the early Middle Ages. Thanks to its characteristic cylindrical shape and its imposing monumentality, San Donato is considered one of the most famous pre-Romanesque churches in Europe. Its originality and uniqueness, manifested in its monumentality, is 27 meters high, in its cylindrical shape and in the double internal division. Most of the internal ornaments come from the old Roman Forum and in the foundations of the building, you can see the remains of the Roman columns on which the church rests. The Cathedral of San Anastasia, built on the foundations of an old basilica, dates back to the 4th or 5th century. The facade, completed in 1300, is composed of three portals dating back to the Romanesque period, above which we find arches supported by small columns. The interior of the church is particularly monumental. The main nave is divided by columns and pillars that follow each other. From the top of the bell tower you can contemplate a wonderful panorama of the entire city and its surroundings. By pure chance we attended a local wedding. The Piazza of Five Pazi was built due to the concrete danger of siege represented by the Turks' conquest. The authorities took care to guarantee the city a sufficient amount of drinking water. Using the existing moat for the flow of water, 
they built a large cistern with five wells. Today this place is called Piazza of Five Wells. The marine organ is made up of steps where there are 35 kand of different lengths, diameters, and inclinations. The air is pushed by the wave of the sea through the barrel, and produces a sound, which then comes out of the openings in the pavement. The unpredictability of the sea with its strength, motion, direction, and tide creates a perpetual concert, always different. The greeting to the sun, has the shape of a circle with a diameter of 22 meters, is composed of glass panels placed at the same level as the stone slabs on the shore. Under the glass panels there are photovoltaic solar modules through which symbolic communication with nature is generated, generating electricity. During and after sunset the lighting elements installed in the floor are activated which produce a beautiful play of light to the rhythm of the waves and the sound coming from the marine organs. The island of Uglian is 20 kilometers long and is centrally crossed by a mountain range, crossed by the characteristic dry stone walls that separate the fields of olive trees, vines, and figs. Besides being very green, the island has the whole range of beaches that you can find in Dalmatia, from sand, pebbles to rocks. From north to south the island of Uglian is crossed by an excellent paved road, which allows you to move comfortably from one country to another. The west coast is high and steep. The canal that runs between the island of Pasman and the island of Uglian is narrow, shallow, less than 2 meters. At one time Uglgen and Pasman were united, but at the end of the 19th century the canal was created, to speed up the passage of small boats from one part of the islands to another. The island of Pasman occupies an area of only 63 square kilometers and has eight inhabited centers in the part that faces the mainland. The island is not very animated from the tourist point of view, although it hosts a number of small campsites, and numerous holiday apartments. It is rather sought after for its tranquility, beaches, and sandy bottoms, natural beauty and proximity to Zadar. Characteristic of the place is this heart-shaped islet. Biograd and Amoru, is a city that lived the heyday becoming imperial capital during the Middle Ages. Today it is a tourist resort renowned for its transparent sea and for the beaches which, rare for Croatia, are in very fine sand.
The city of Sibenik is located in the central part of the Croatian Adriatic coast, in the picturesque and jagged gulf where the Kirka River flows, which is one of the most beautiful karst rivers in Croatia. Sibenik, like Zadar, is also protected by an archipelago that includes 242 islands, islets, and emerged rocks, scattered mainly in the northwest part of the sea. In the whole archipelago there are only 10 inhabited settlements. The coastal part is famous for the climate. In fact, it has on average more than 2,700 hours of sunshine per year. It is a good starting point for excursions to the Kornady National Park and the Kirka Falls. The old part of the city is a must-see. The Cathedral of St. James is located in the historic center of Sibenik. The construction has lasted for over a hundred years. The cathedral is built entirely of stone. It is unique for the bold overlapping of the stone slabs and the dry-built ribs. It is also unique among Renaissance churches for its clover-shaped facade, and finally it is also known for a series of 71 realistic portraits on the external walls, depicting citizens and friends of the architect. On the side door of the church are still visible the holes caused by the splinters of the grenades fired by the Serbs during the 1991 war. The ancient historic core of the city is famous for the beauty of the central square. Around the square are the most representative monuments of Sibenik's architecture, the cathedral, the town hall, the little loggia, the ducal palace and that of the bishop, and a collection of patrician palaces. The Kirka Falls National Park is located in the hinterland of Sibenik, and is one of the most beautiful parks in Croatia. It covers an area of 109 square kilometers and is located in the most spectacular part of the lower part of the Kirka River course. The Kirka River here has seven waterfalls. The waters of the river slide on the 17 steps, which cover a length of 800 meters. The waterfalls are between 200 and 400 meters wide, and cover a total height difference of 45 meters. A walkway has been built over this stretch of river, which can be covered in 60 minutes, which runs through the woods and streams.
The main waterfall is located at the end of the barrier, making a 15 meters jump into Lake Visovac. The park is a popular tourist destination. Primasan is a small town located a few kilometers from Sibenik. The old part of the town is perched on a small island, once connected to the mainland by a bridge, which was later replaced by an isthmus of land. The town has maintained the Mediterranean atmosphere and all the characteristics of the medieval fishing village. Primasan has beautiful long pebble beaches. The parish church of San Giorgio is located on the highest point of the promontory, surrounded by the village cemetery, and dominates the entire village. Troger was founded by the Greeks and became a Roman municipality with the name of Tra. At the beginning of the 13th century the new cathedral was built, of which we still admire the beautiful main portal. After long struggles it was occupied by the Venetians who ruled it until 1797. During this period numerous palaces, houses, towers and fortresses were rebuilt. After the First World War Troger experienced a period of poverty and hunger until the 70s, when the development of the shipbuilding industry and tourism, gave way to a significant social improvement. The historic center is located on an island between the mainland, to which it is connected by a fixed bridge, and the island of Kovo, to which a bridge originally movable connects it. Troger's biggest economic resource is tourism. Do not miss the finely carved portal of the 13th century, with two lions on guard. The Cathedral of San Lorenzo dates back to the 13th century, and was remodeled several times, so that today it is a mixture of Romanesque, Gothic, Renaissance and Baroque styles. It is a three-aisled basilica with a portico, above which is the bell tower which is the tallest and most characteristic building in Troger. It is a 47-meter high tower built in three different styles over the course of almost four centuries. The Camerlengo Fortress was built between the 14 and 15 centuries. It was built by the Venetians to strengthen the city's defenses and their naval base in this part of the Adriatic. It takes its name from the magistrate of the city Camer Arias, and today it is a multimedia center with outdoor cinema and stage for cultural events. The Troger campsite is one of the most beautiful ever visited, in the shade and directly on the sea.
The island of Kovo belonged in the past to Trogur, but today it is a separate independent municipality, even if in reality the island is the extension of the city of Trogur, expanding its already countless possibilities for holidays. Mediterranean vegetation, the archipelago of small picturesque islands, the mild climate and the beautiful beaches in hidden bays, are the true prerogative of this island.